what's the screenwriter's material or the playwright's material? Words. Well, we said that the words are the poet's material. Plot. So yeah, how about how about plot? How about let's let's say sequence. So the screenwriter takes actions and puts them in a particular order. And because of the order of the actions, that's how we get meaning. Right? So let's take an example. Let's say you're sitting in your car in a parking lot. And a woman pulls up in her car and she has a bassinet. You know how you can have those car seats that are bassinets? You know, they, they, they can convert or whatever. And she opens the back door and she takes out her bassinet. And it's got a blanket in there, right? And she takes the bassinet and she closes the door and she walks into the supermarket. Okay, fine. Then, I don't know, 10 minutes later, she comes back out. She's still carrying the bassinet, and she goes to her car, and she opens the trunk of her car, and she puts the bassinet inside the trunk, and she closes the trunk. Now, is that a story? Is that a plot? Now, what do you think about that? Boring. <laughs> what is this? Boring. She put her baby in the trunk. Boring? You say boring? Did she lock her baby in the trunk of the car? Yeah. Muriel, you didn't get that? Now how, wait, yeah. it's interesting, why didn't you get that though? A bassinet, you know what a bassinet is. No, okay, it's got a blanket. I didn't mention a baby, did I? But I said a bassinet, but, uh, right, with a blanket. Don't you have some expectation? Anyway, the writer has this plot, right? Okay, now what? What if inside the supermarket, what is she gonna buy? What do you want her to, her to buy in there? Diapers. Okay, diapers. That would be good. But what if she buys like a six pack of beer? That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? She and cigarettes, okay. Yeah. Six pack of beer and cigarettes. And she goes to the checkout line and do they ask what do they ask her? Paper or plastic? And what does she say? Plastic. plastic. No, she says bassinet. She's got her bassinet, right? She puts the beer and she puts the cigarettes in the bassinet. She puts the blanket over and then she comes back outside. And where does she go? The trunk and puts the bassinet into the trunk and closes the trunk. Now, do you see the writer? If the writer left out the part that she didn't have a baby in there, but she put groceries in there, do you see how it changes the meaning? Mm -hmm. So you see how they change the meaning just by changing the plot, just by how they, what they let us know. And also the sequence of it. The writer took out one sequence, we didn't get that information. So, as actors, is the sequence part of our material? No. no, we can't affect sequence.